At about the age of 18, you discovered beating it. What a day that was. Remember that? God, that was the best discovery one could make in his adult life. Life on the good old hub site. Then, a few years later, this beating thing gets a little old, and it's not the fun that it used to be. And later at about the age of 21, you discover you're just wasting your life. You feel depressed and pathetic, and the hub is getting boring. And at this point, you need more in your life. So, at about age 22 or 23, you get yourself a girlfriend. And my, this is the height of your SEX life. And she goes down whenever you want. Life doesn't get any better than this. Until about five years later, and the flame totally dies out. Dang, this is not good times. So at about age 28, you decide to dump her and get yourself a new flame. Hey, we're back on the saddle again. And this one is even hotter than the one before. But uh oh, five years down the road and she puts on a bunch of weight. And the SEX now becomes a chore, rather than the fun exciting thing that it used to be. God, how you'd give your left nut for 10 minutes alone on the old hub site right about now. So, you dump the fatty, and at age 33, you decide to finally get married. And now, you got a nice hot poos on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Yes. Then, about 5 years later at the ripe age of 38, you start to lose access to that poos. Your kid and his stupid nightmares totally screw up your whole sweet perfect SEX life. Dang it. So at age 40 something, you get divorced. There's no SEX life anymore, but at least there's peace quiet, and privacy, and, yep, here we are back at square one again with the old beaten ritual, and it's at that moment that you realize, you could have just been doing this the whole 25 years without all the BS you had to endure, right?